Hello, hello everyone. Hello teacher, good evening. Good evening, how are you today? <clears throat> um, well, I'm so happy, thanks God. And you? <laughs> I'm happy too and tired. <clears throat> oh, that's nice. Yeah. So welcome Adriana, welcome Diego, welcome Judith, Sara and Sandra. So how was your day? Good evening, hi Faisen. Okay. Great, great. Okay, good. Okay, um, so thank you for joining us today. Uh, as you know, today is the last day of this module. I hope that we can have a great time today since it's the last day. Uh, I hope more people are going to join us. I hope so too. I hope um, that more people are going to join and more students. Um, and I hope also that you had a great day today. All right. I don't know. Do you work today? Do you work today? Sandra, do you work today? Oh, yes, I have worked very hard because um, next, uh, next Monday is the last day to present our declarations to to of taxes in treasury ministry oh i didn't know that well is it just you because you are like the company Eva. owner uh, or it's because you are a um a taxpayer no well well with my husband we are taxpayer because we have a on a small enterprise oh okay okay because in our cases for example you know that we need to um we need to pay taxes as well but we have been we haven't been told yet like that we need to fill the form um online mm -hmm. yet okay it's online and it is That's very nice. difficult to do it right now because sometimes uh, well in another time it was very easy but today everything is complicated oh okay okay yeah. okay welcome uh i can see we have fatima karina we have Basilia, diego judith and Janet, okay, so welcome everyone. It's good to see everyone today. And yes, today is the last day. So, and also we have Luis Melgar. So thank you, thank you one more time to joining or to join us, okay, today. All right, so um, I hope uh, you had a great day today at work or at home or with your friends. Okay, so let's get started. Okay, today, what we're gonna be doing is we're going to be reviewing, as you know, the last day of uh, section we review. And as you know, um, the entire week, we have talked about the future, different ways to express the future. So today we are going to be talking about the future. All right, so this is uh, the agenda I have. Um, uh, the warm-up activity, also we have an activity with the review. And the good thing is that uh, the objective uh, is the following. Student will be able to review the different tenses to express the future through a set of activities. As you know, there are how many ways to express the future do we have? How many ways? How many? We have four ways. Yes, thank you. Uh, we have four different ways. One using the going to, the other one using will, the other yes. one using the yes. present continuous, and the last one uh, using the simple present. Okay. Simple and presence, also, but with a sorry, with a, an expression of time. Exactly, and of course, like every every tense. Hello, Eduardo. Welcome. Hi. Good morning. Hello. Good morning. Good morning. I can see that you were taking a nap and then you were like, oh my gosh, my class, my class. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Good morning. Okay. <laughs> Come on. You know, I just came back from work and then I told my wife, oh, I wish I could have like 15 minutes to sleep. But I say, no, no, I need to work. <laughs> yeah. All right. Okay, um, so this is the objective for that we're going to be achieving today at the end of this class. 
All right, so as you know, we all the time we start reviewing something or reviewing what we learned the previous class. As you said before, yesterday we were talking about how to express the future with present simple and the present continuous. Okay, can you tell me the difference between present simple and present continuous in order to express future actions. So what's when can I use the simple present and when can I use the present continuous? Mm -hmm. Anyone? What do you remember? Mm -hmm. Well, as, as I said before, teacher, mm -hmm. um, present, present simple uh, without a without a word a word of, of time. Yes, it's just present simple. But right. if but if we say, for example, tomorrow, the day after tomorrow, after after all the the sentence, mm -hmm. uh, that means that we are speaking in in future. Oh, yeah, definitely, yes. Yeah. Uh, as I mentioned yesterday, uh, every time we are using the present continuous and the present simple, it's very uh, essential. It's, it's very essential to add a time expression of future. Otherwise, the present simple will be just present simple. Otherwise, yeah. the present continuous will be only present continuous. So thank you so much, Sandra. Um, oh, wow. All right, what are we gonna to do today? We're gonna to have a warm up activity and we are going to be debating, arguing what's better, all right? Look at the two pictures. I'm going to give you a different pictures and you're going to tell me, uh, you're going to provide reasons why you, what, or why you chose, your choice, I'm sorry, it's better for you, okay? For example, right now we have the red one and the blue one. So. Which one is better according to you? Well, in terms of healthy, I wouldn't say that they are better, but maybe in taste, in terms of taste, I would say one or the other one is good. What do you think? Which one is better or which one do you prefer? Okay, teacher, I prefer uh, Coca-Cola uh -huh. because Pepsi is, is more um, sweet. Uh, uh, I don't know. Uh, I think it's for me, oh. Coca Cola is better. Okay, Coca Cola is better. Okay. Okay. What about the other ones? What do, what do you think? I prefer uh, Coca Cola because these uh, contain too much uh, soda. Ah, I okay. Think. okay. 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 So, see. We're going to be uh, uh, discussing and, and debating, taking a, a choice, right? Okay. How about now? An iPhone or an Android? I mean, an iPhone or a Galaxy? Which one is better? I think two are better, but I prefer um, iPhone because the, the system is too much friendly. Okay. Really? Okay. I don't have Samsung. <laughs> okay, so which one is better? Okay, I want to hear your opinions. Which one is better? Uh -huh. According to you. Maybe iPhone is better, but the price is so high, you know. That is why I prefer Samsung. Samsung is very nice too. Yes, like mine, yeah. It's um this is an old, this is an old uh, cell phone. I got it back in two. 2017. It's, it's better. Better. It's, it's Android. It's an Android. So um, okay. It's, uh, I, iPhone. iPhone is is safe, secure. It's safe. Uh, safe. Mm -hmm. uh, and Android is oh. um, download uh, applications, different application and with. With iPhone is difficult. Right. Yes. 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 Mm -hmm. 
Okay. Uh, the interference. I, I, I'm. I'm asking the the interference. It's from my side or from somebody somebody else. Because Sarah Quintanilla says, "Teacher, there is a lot of interference." So I wonder if it is from my size or from your size. Hmm? Hello. I think it's her size. Oh, okay, 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 okay. I heard, okay. I heard you fine. Okay, and I apologize. My 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 little daughter was was screaming like yeah yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no problem. <laughs> okay, next. Um, all right. Let's go with the next one. Okay. So, do you prefer hot coffee or cold coffee? I prefer cold coffee. Okay. I prefer hot, hot coffee. coffee. Okay. Okay. Uh huh. Okay. Hot I would coffee. say. Uh -huh. Hot coffee is better. Hot coffee is better. No matter if you are at 2 o'clock p.m. Hot, to... hot coffee is better. <laughs> it, it's more delicious. Uh, at it's this more... time, it's very cold. Well, yes. So I, I would say that it depends on the, on, the, on the time. Because if you're in the morning, definitely. It, it has to be hot. But if you are at noon... Eh, it's kind of it's kind of difficult being drink to be drinking coffee hot coffee at noon oh my gosh you really start sweating a lot mm -hmm. okay so let me see the other one okay get okay okay what about what do you prefer a bike or a car a car of course a car okay <laughs> did it what do you think Mm -hmm. Automatic car. Okay. A car. Okay. Uh, Diego, what do you think? A car to serve. Okay. And Fatima, what do you think? Okay. All right. So let's go to the next one. Oh, Jimmy. Oh, wow. What do you prefer, Wendy's or Burger King? I prefer Wendy's. 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 Oh, Wendy's. Uh -huh. I prefer Mac. The Big Mac. The Big <laughs> Mac. <laughs> what about Whopper? Mm -hmm. Whopper is delicious. I prefer Wendy's. So which one is uh, uh, cheaper? I prefer Wendy's. I think Burger King is... Yes, Burger King. Burger King is cheaper? Mm -hmm. Una bacon so, yes, yes, yes. Oh, what a, a bacon what? Bacon melts. Ah, you know, I had a very high expectation for the bacon for that one, but um, it didn't fulfill my expectation. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay, next. Okay, and now, today, right now, you got to tell me why. If you say, oh, I think this is... Ah, of course, I prefer the mountains. Why? Why the mountains? Mountains. Tell me why. Tell me reasons. <laughs> because I can take a hike over there, and and the air is is purified by okay. the by the trees. So yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, someone else. Mm -hmm. I prefer on the beach. Mm -hmm. I prefer the morning because we we. Okay. Okay, thank you. What else? Mm -hmm. I, I prefer the mountain for the, the weather. It's oh, fresh. you prefer the mountains because of the weather. Mm -hmm. What else? Who else? I prefer the mountain because I like to walk a lot and oh. the weather is very cool. Oh, the weather is very cool. Okay, nice. Somebody else? Mm -hmm. I prefer the beach mm -hmm. because. I, I like swim and I like the, um, the, the pool too. Oh, okay. Thank you. No, no, no. That's, that's a good uh, reason why. Mm -hmm. Somebody else? Alguien más? Alguien más? Mm -hmm. Okay. So no worries. So thank you for having participated. But now I have another tricky one. Machu Picchu or the Eiffel Tower? Which one do you prefer? And tell I me prefer, why. And I tell prefer me why. Machu Picchu. Ah, Machu Picchu, okay. Why? The, 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 the 
Uh -huh. What do you want to say? Oh, the wonder. One of the seven. Is that the modern or the old, uh, ancient, uh, the modern. antiguas or modernas? Modern. Oh, one of the seven modern wonders. Wonder. Mm -hmm. Wonder. Yes. I like it. Okay. Yes. And it's very beautiful. It's very My beautiful. My mom, I, 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 I was, I live in Peru for, for six years. Six years? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, where? Where in Peru? Where? My, my mom. Oh, your mom was living or lived when, in Peru for living, five years. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Nice. Nice. Okay. So uh, who else? Eiffel Tower or Machu Picchu? I prefer Eiffel Tower because in Peru uh, it is too much um, highest and it's uh, too much people it has difficult to to, to breathe. Respirar. Yeah. Breathe, breathe. And you know when you go. Uh -huh. Yes, yes. Okay. Um, I prefer Eiffel Tower, but uh, as far as I know, it is one year ago, it was burned. The Eiffel Tower? Yeah. No, no. You meant uh, you're talking about the, the what's the name of that church? The very famous Notre church? Notre Dame. Notre Dame. The Notre, Notre Dame. Dame. Notre Dame, that one. Uh, but, but the Eiffel Tower also ha had a, a damage over there, but I don't know how. Mm, no, I don't, I don't remember, but uh, as far as I remember, uh, the only one that was on fire was the church, the Notre, the Notre Dame church. Um, mm -hmm. okay. okay, yeah. Okay, somebody else. I want you to tell me why. Okay, Vanessa, thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, in my case, I prefer the Machu Picchu mm -hmm. because I like the history about the, this place and I love the civilization. And, oh, good. And I, I like it. I like the view. Too. Okay. Okay. So, you know what? Okay. Uh, do you know that people think that this is the face of a uh, of, uh, Peruvian what? I would say un, un indio dormido. Have you heard that? Can yes. you see it? Can you see it? This yeah. is the nose. Okay. This is the mouth. This is the jaw. And this is the forehead. This is the eye. <gasps> wow. Do you know that? Yes. Yes. Uh, do you know that? Yes. 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 Okay. So a lot of people, uh, for example, I when can you go see to... any, any Indian there, teacher. I, I can <laughs> see it. I can see an Indian sleeping over there. I can see it. Uh -huh. A sleeping, a sleeping Indian. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Uh, and that was very, uh, when you go over there, um, uh, people, um, the tour guys, they tell you that. They tell you that it, um, mm. it's, it has like what? It has like, like it looks like there is an Indian sleeping. Oh, you are right. Yes, 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 yes. Now yeah. I and can you know understand. What? Also, if you go to Machu Picchu, you have the time to climb all these mountains oh to the top. God. Here, there is another ancient <laughs> thing over there. Mm -hmm. okay. <gasps> Oh yes. my God. Well, anyway, and of course, any day. Yes, and of course, if you want to go to the top, it will take you a, a day to up, to go up, and the same day to go down. So basically, I mean, if you want to go to Machu Picchu once, you, you can try it. It's very beautiful. Mm -hmm. Oops, I suppose it is. Yeah, I highly recommend you if you want to plan to go, if you are planning to go, or I don't know, to Peru, go. Yeah, thank you. Okay. Good. So thank you for participating in this debate. Uh, let's move on. Okay. As you know, today we're going to be reviewing uh, the future tenses. Like, for example, 
the four different tenses that we know that we can use to express the future. The first one, let's get started with the first one. The first one is will. Okay, I need one volunteer to read all of these regarding the will. Who wants to read Me this part? Sure. Okay, go ahead. Uh, predictions and forecasts. Mm -hmm. He will prob probably come back tomorrow. It will rain tomorrow. Spontaneous decisions. Why, why, wait, I will help you. Promise, I will not watch TV tonight. Good, thank you. Okay, when do we use will? We use will when we want to predict, okay? Prediction and force cut. For example, he will probably come back tomorrow. It will rain tomorrow. Also, we use will. Imagine when we are speaking, when we are, we, we use will when we say something at the moment of speaking, okay? That means an spontaneous decision. Wait, I will help you. Also, we use will when we offer help, remember? When we offer help, all right? Also, we use will when we promise something, okay? When we promise something. What about going? Uh, Sandra, can you read the, the going to part? The going to part? Yes, of course, teacher. Going to mm -hmm. intentions. We're going to spend the summer abroad. Previously made decisions. We're going to leave, but we don't know when. Something that is likely to happen. Mm -hmm. It's cloudy. It's going to rain. Good. Thank you. When do we use going to? When we have intentions, when uh, there is a, a decision or a plan that is, has been already arranged, and also when something is about to happen or is likely to happen. Okay, remember the predictions, the predictions, uh, when we are using predictions or when we want to express a prediction, we can use going to and will, okay? For example, it's going to rain or it will rain, okay, the same thing. Okay, with the present continuous, let me see somebody who wants to read the present continuous. Yeah, it's teacher. Yes, yes. Present continuous, arrangement and plans. I am visiting my grandparents tomorrow. What are you doing next Saturday? I'm going to Mary's party. Good, thank you. Thank you, Adriana. When we use the present continue, it's because we have a plan on when we have arranged something. For example, I'm visiting my grandparents. What are you doing next Saturday? I'm going to Mary's party. And the last one, uh, the last one is what? It's uh, the present simple. Uh, when do we use the present simple? We use the present simple with timetables, okay? timetables, or when there is a scheduled or repeated event. Look at the example. The plane takes off at 3 a.m. We have an English text next week. It's Easter next month, okay? Let's see the other example. The same thing. When do we use will? We use will with predictions. We will travel. Sudden decisions, I'm hungry, I'll make a sandwich. Offering, okay, offering, and will you have something to drink? No, thanks, I won't have anything. Que significa want, do you remember? Que significa want? Will not. Will not, good. Okay, be going to. We just be going to uh, for plans and intentions. Uh, about one idea for the future, I'm going to meet my friends. Also, when we have evidence, evidence prediction, something we know. We are going to have a baby in two months. Probablemente está en el mes séptimo. He said, oh, you know what? No más decir, I will, we will have. No, in that case, it, it, because we have an evidence, it's we are going to have a baby in two months. Okay? The person continues. Okay. Quizás para, para cómo saber cuándo se puede utilizar el present continuo, aquí está la clave. ¿Ok? Convenios. 
Okay, arrangements. That's the, the key word. And also plan action, see? Arrangements, planned actions at a specific time. Okay, for example, I'm meeting my friends at seven. We are having a birthday party. Y era lo que hablábamos al principio. Do not forget the time expressions. If you forget the time expression, the sentence, the sentence would be or will express a different meaning. That would mean that would mean that you are meeting right now your friends. Okay. Imagine this sentence. We are having a birthday party. Oh, in that case, um, we don't know when. So that would mean that right now you are having the birthday party, okay? Porque no tiene una time expression for future actions. What about the present simple? Uh, we use the present simple for future events at a specific time. ¿Y cuál sería la keyword, la palabra clave, keyword del presente simple? Es esto, miren. Timetable and schedule. Ok. Esas serían las palabras. ¿Cuándo debería de utilizar? O oh, con una timetable. Look at the example. The plane takes land at 11.40. We leave to Edinburgh at night. Imagínense que ahorita son las 8. Okay, what time is it now? It's 8.26 right now, ¿ok? Y usted dice, oh, we leave to Edinburgh at night. ¿Qué es lo que hace futuro esa oración? Can you help me? ¿Qué hace futuro esa oración o esa oración? Uh, at, night. at night. Yes, esta partícula hace que la oración sea futuro. And we call that time expression. Expression of time for future, ¿ok? If we didn't have, si no tuviéramos esto, if we didn't have that, that means that you are doing it right now. We lead to any work. Good, thank you. Is there any question so far? Any yes, question? teacher. Yes, yes. Oh, there it says the plane takes land at 11.40. Uh, that means that uh, the plane uh, is arriving. 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 Arriving, mm -hmm. arriving. takes land. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. Or arrives at, we can say the plane arrives at yeah. 11.40. Yes. Oh, yes. Thank okay. you. You're welcome. All right. So now, what are we going to do right now? Okay. So we are going to, um, let me see. Yes. Okay. We're going to do an activity right now. We are going to play a game and we are going to answer um, some questions. Okay. Uh, do you see, what do you see on the screen? What do you see? The presentation. Okay, the presentation. Okay, good. Let me stop uh, I sharing. I wanted to take it the photograph. Okay, I'm here. Okay. I'm going to give you a chance later. Okay? Okay. okay. I have a couple of questions here. Um, there are some questions and I would like you to ask and answer those questions. Okay? For example, uh, those are future <laughs> tenses, questions with future tenses. And the first question is, what are you going to do after the lesson today? Volunteers? Me, teacher. Okay. Um, I'm going to go to sleep uh, later. Okay, I'm going, to, I'm going to go to sleep. Okay, good, thank you. Okay, next, What's next. Mm -hmm. Okay, another volunteer. Okay, complete that sentence. If my teacher is ill next week, we can't have classes. Oh, can you use the future? My teacher is ill next week. If my teacher is ill next week, what will happen? We will not receive classes. We will not receive classes. Good. We won't okay. receive. We won't yeah. receive classes. Next. Mm -hmm. Let's see the next one. Complete. If I don't understand this lesson, what will you do? Mm -hmm. If I don't understand this lesson, 
Another volunteer. What will you do if you do not understand this lesson? Can you use the uh, the future? I will ask you to repeat. Okay. I will. You can say I will ask my teacher to repeat. Okay. I will ask. Good. Next. Okay. Vamos a ver. When are you going to do your homework? Anyone? Anyone? I'm going to do the homework uh, tomorrow morning. Oh, nice, nice, very nice. Okay, I'm going to do my homework tomorrow morning. All right, good. Okay, uh, let me see. Next. Let me see next. Okay. Next question. What will the weather be like next winter? Okay, since we don't have winter, well, like winter, like in the United States, we have only a tropical season, I would say. The question, I would change the question. What will the weather be like next summer? Well, next month, next month. What do you think? What will the weather be like next month? It will be rainy. It will be rainy next month? Are you sure? Mm. I don't think it will be heat. I don't know. It will be it will be very, very hot. Yes. Remember, el mes de marzo es el mes caluroso. Febrero y marzo son los meses más calurosos. Right. March is, is the hottest yes. month of the year. Yes. So get ready for it. Okay. Yeah. Next. One more. Only one more. Okay. Okay. What will schools be like in the year 2030? What do you think? What will this, what will schools be like? ¿Cómo serían? ¿Cómo serán las escuelas? In the year 2030. Okay, go to the chat and tell me. Go to the chat and tell me. Tell me one sentence. What will the school be like in the year 2030? Okay. Espero su respuesta en el chat. Okay. Okay, let me see the sentences, okay? What will school be like in the year 2030? Classes will be virtual, the schools will be virtual, all the, com all the students will have computers. Uh -huh. What else? Hmm? Teachers are going to be flying in cars. <laughs> uh, I wish it were true. All the students will have computers, what, what else? Sandra, are you drinking coffee? You're having dinner. <laughs> oh, okay, good, that's good. Mm -hmm. Okay, let, let me see, Mar Marjorie says, they will have more artificial intelligence, yes. Inteligencia artificial, yes. In 2030, maybe the schools uh, will be too much sophisticated. Oh, Diego. Teacher will be robots. Uh oh, maybe. But Sara Quintanilla says uh, virtual classes. Judith says the schools will be with more technology. Definitely, definitely. Because of the pandemic, listen up. Because of the pandemic, we are right now like in this way. I I am one hundred percent sure that if it hasn't been or it hadn't been for the pandemic we wouldn't be here tonight. What do you think about it? 
because of the pandemic, we are having this class, I, I think. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, you wouldn't be taking any online classes. I think, I don't know, what do you think? Mm -hmm. Okay, all right, good. Thank you. Thank you for your answers. Um, let's go for the next one. Let me see. Okay, let's continue with some exercises. Okay, as you know, we are reviewing, uh, we are reviewing what? We are reviewing this, the use of simple future or the future simple or the future in general with sentences. What I would like you to do right now, listen, everyone, everyone is going to complete these exercises all together. For example, in this case, you need to be very, very careful because you will have to use the different futures. The simple present, the present continuous, will and going to. ¿Cómo podrías saber eso? Oh, based on the sentence. For example, number one, what do you think? The train, the train is it's arriving at 12.30. Mm, it's arriving. Mm. Remember, cuando utilizamos timetable, ¿se acuerdan cuando decimos timetable? ¿Se acuerdan de eso? Yes. Utilizo timetable con present the continuous. Rain is going to arrive at uh, 12.30. Look, cuando utilizo, cuando tengo un timetable, si tengo un timetable, ¿cuál uso? ¿Uso el present continuous present o el present simple? Present simple. Ok, so, entonces el primero sería The train is a, arrives, arrives, arrives at, at 12.30 12 Ok, good Number two, all together or Number two We dinner at the seaside restaurant on Sunday We're going to have dinner at seaside restaurant on Sunday Saturday, yes. Sunday. Well, in that case, you had two choices. One, it could be going to, and the other one can be uh, the person continues. ¿Por qué? We're having. Ya tengo un plan. ¿Qué, cuando We're having. Plan? Yes. El plan puede ser desarrollado on Sunday. ¿Sí? ¿Sí? Okay. So, that one can be going to, and also it can be present continuous. Okay? Number three. Okay, number three. It... And bring them tomorrow. Will it snow? Uh -huh. it, will pro it will probably snow in yeah, Brighton okay. tomorrow. It will probably. Yeah. It will snow in Brighton tomorrow evening. Okay. Okay, good. Nice. Number four. Number four. Every day at eight o'clock, um, I'm meeting with, I'm meeting my friend. Okay, number four. What do you think about number four? On Friday at eight o'clock, I'm what meeting. Is going to happen? Mm -hmm. I'm meeting. I'm meeting. Okay, I'm meeting my friends. Yes, at eight o'clock. Good. On Friday at eight o'clock, I'm meeting my friends. Good. What about number five? Meeting. Number five. What do you think flies, about number five? Flies to London. How flies, flies to London? Good. Flies to London on Monday morning. ¿Por qué utilizamos el simple present? Can anybody tell me? Mm -hmm. uh, because it's a the morning in the it's Monday morning. It's Monday morning. It's, morning. It's like, uh, like, like we have a plan and also it's going to happen on Monday. And, well, in that case, you can use the simple present or also the present continuous. Mm -hmm. Okay, because it can happen in the future. London on Monday morning. Okay, so number six. What about number six? Wait. Mm -hmm. Number six. I will drive. No, I'm driving. You, I'll drive you. I will drive you to the station. Te conduciré hacia la estación. 
I will try you. Es un favor que le está haciendo. Your your microphone. 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 I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Oh, yes, uh, number seven, number six is a will. Why will? Yeah. Because it's an offering. You are offering your help. Yes. Good. Number seven. Let's see the English lesson. Starts. starts. Yeah, starts at starts. 845. Mm -hmm. Uh, A45, good. And the last one, are you still writing your essay? If you, if you finish by 4 p.m., we can go for a walk. Okay, good. Okay. What are we going to do right now? Okay, we're going to continue practicing. Okay, let me see this one. Okay, what are we going to do right now? Okay, simply look. Okay, look, what are we going to do right now? We are going to prepare a short dialogue. Okay, vamos a hacer una conversación. Okay, you're going to have two choices. The first one is about you're going to talk about the future, like, hey, what do you think will happen in the future? Mm -hmm. Okay, or the other one, which is prepare. Okay, I'm sorry. Um, okay, uh, the, the first one is prepare a short dial. I'm sorry, give me a second. Give me a second. Okay, uh, what are we going to do? We are going to have a meeting. We're going to have a short meeting and we are going to prepare a short dialogue. You know what? To make it simpler, okay, let's stay with the first one. Okay, look, I'm going to say we are going to prepare a short dialogue about your plans for tomorrow. Okay? Nos vamos a reunir en una pequeña, uh, eh, una pequeña clase y vamos a hablar del plan que se tiene para el día de mañana. Okay? What are your plans for tomorrow? And then later, we're going to come back to the main room and we are going to share the dialogue. Okay? Is that clear? Hello, hello. Yes? Yes. Okay. Okay. Forget about the second one, the future and the world. Forget about that one. And let's get, uh, let's get, uh, let's work with the first one. Okay? Prepare a short dialogue. So I would like you to discuss, I would like you to discuss about what, about what are your plans for tomorrow? So once I send you to the small breakout rooms, what I like you is I like you to, um, to use or to talk about the plans that you have for tomorrow. And then you're going to be practicing like five minutes. And then later you're going to come back and you are going to share with the whole class your plans that you have for tomorrow. Okay. Is that clear? Yes. Yes. Okay. Vámonos entonces. Yes. A, okay. Nos vamos a la uh, small breakout rooms right now. Okay. ¿Y qué no vamos a hacer primero el diálogo, teacher? No, 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 no. You are going to talk in the small breakout rooms. All right. Great.
Okay, um, I I got you back because let me see. Okay, I got you back because I want to make sure that the instruction is clear. Is that clear? Está claro qué es lo que se va a hacer. Hello. Hello. Okay, is that okay? So what are you gonna do? It's you are going to go to the small breakout rooms and then you are going to talk about the plans that you have for tomorrow. That's it. For example, I'm going to go work, I'm, I'm eating pupusas, I'm visiting my friends, and so on. Okay, that's what we're gonna be doing. Okay, eh, solamente le di 60 segundos porque vi que había ahí como mucha confusion, okay? You were some of you confused. So what are we going to do, be doing today? It's you are going to go to the small breakout rooms and then you're going to be talking about your plans for tomorrow. That's it. That's the conversation that you're going to have, okay? Okay. okay. Lo voy a mandar de nuevo entonces a la, a la breakout rooms, okay? for tomorrow okay mm. let's see i i want to start okay okay uh, let's see tomorrow uh, i think i going i'm going to be in a class at the university maybe whole day uh, then i come back to my house um only Stand by with my little brother and my cousin. Um, maybe we will go. We will uh, take a little dinner for a while or, or something okay. like that. Okay. That's my plans. Okay. Well, my plans for tomorrow and. Um, I'm going to work at 8.30 a.m. I'm out of the work at 12.30. Uh, and next, I think I will to lunch with my... Yeah, of course. Zacateco, Luke. In Zacateco, Luke. Oh, very good. Yes. <laughs> and uh, what about Giovanni? Uh, uh, good evening. Uh, sorry if I'm so slow because my connection is giving me pro troubles. Well, my plans for tomorrow is uh, many clothes. I I'm going to wash many clothes. And um, what more? Mm. Okay. Only pa only Patricia don't don't speak. Oh, uh, Patricia, are you there, Patricia? Don't be shy, Patricia. I know you're there. <laughs> okay, did you finish all? Did you finish talking about your plans for tomorrow? Yes. No, the, that was super fast. Mm -hmm. Yeah. In my case, in, in my case, tomorrow I go into the church all day, in the morning and in the afternoon. I <laughs> I don't know why, but all 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 my Saturdays is very very busy with much activities. I don't know why. You <laughs> <laughs> don't know on the on the week. Yes, all mm, in the week. All my activities is like studying or like staying home and a simple activities. But the weekends and especially Saturdays is very very busy. Okay, if you want, uh, when we go we go again to the to the class. We do the same things that uh, we do at this moment.
How was your conversation with your classmates? How how was how are uh, how are the plans like for tomorrow? School, church, friends, uh, soccer, um, clubs. I don't know. Tell me. <laughs> What, what are the plans that you have for tomorrow? What do you talk in your small break car rooms? Mm -hmm. What do you talk about it? Okay, teacher. Um, we uh, talk to with um, Eunice, Judy, um, and Adriana Lopez and me. If you want, uh, uh, we're going to do our our uh, conversation. No, 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 that's okay. Maybe you can tell me why you were talking. What do you talk? What are the plans that you have for tomorrow? And that's it. Okay. So uh, or, or anyone, anyone in the whole group, maybe want to share uh, some of the activity or the things that you are going to be doing tomorrow. Any volunteer? I am going to. Oh, okay. No, no, please. <laughs> don't fight don't fight <laughs> <laughs> okay uh, well uh, tomorrow um i work to the 8 30 a.m to 12 30 p.m then uh, i think i'm going uh, i will to lunch with my family and then uh, i'm going to my home to take a rest because it's a, it was a hard uh, week, and that's it. Thank you, thank you so much. Thank you, uh, uh, Sandra and Eduardo. You wanted to talk about what your plans like are like tomorrow. Uh, okay. Uh, tomorrow, my plan is uh, I wake up very very early, and then I. I prepare my hot coffee and also I take a shower and then I go into my work and all day. And also I I come back my home and and then I prepare my dinner. Uh, and also I watch TV at night. That's it. Okay, thank you. Sandra, it's your turn. All right. <clears throat> well, in in my classmates, uh, uh, when we were talking with them, uh, Josué is is meeting with some friends from eight to ten o'clock in the morning, and Sarah Quintanilla is visiting her family in, in uh, had the problems with his connections with the internet so it, it was not possible to hear okay. what okay. Were her, his plans were okay and in my case and in my case i'm prepared tomorrow when when they told me what are you doing tomorrow no but um i'm uh, preparing the class for for teaching my children on um, next 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 uh, next Sunday because uh, in in the church I am a, a teacher. Oh, oh you, you are a Sunday school teacher. Yes, of course, over there. Yeah, I am. Okay, good. Thank you. Thank you, Sandra. Uh, Stephanie, thank you. Hello. Okay, tomorrow I am go to I am going to visit the bank in the morning because I need a documents 
In the after the afternoon, I going to visit my de dentist, and in the night, I'm come back my house. Only this. Okay, thank you, thank you, Stephanie. Okay, uh, Stephanie, give me a number from five to ten. Vamos a escoger a alguien. Un número de cinco al diez. Yes. What? I didn't hear you well. Nine. You say nine? What number do you say? Nine. Nine. Yes. Nine. Okay. Okay. Let me see. One, two, number three, nine. four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Eunice. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, and tomorrow I wake up early because I am going to buy with my mom um, the food oh, I eat, eat to the all week. The groceries, for, the groceries. Mm -hmm. uh, yes, 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 the groceries. And for the afternoon, I will rest and watch TV. And at nine, I will make pupusas with my mom. Very delicious, very, very delicious. Okay, to conclude uh, the module and to conclude the class today, I have a question for you all. What do you learn in this module? What do you learn? Oops, so many things. Maybe something that you are not going to forget, maybe. Mm -hmm. What are the topics? Do you remember the topics that we uh, studied or the topics that we worked on during this module? Mm -hmm. Well, past tense. The past tense. Perfect present. present Sequence tense. adverbs. Sequence adverbs. adverbs. Mm -hmm. Future. The future. Uh -huh. Going and will. How to compare things. Yeah, how to compare things. Good. Mm -hmm. Do you remember that expression when I was a child? Do you remember that? Yeah, used to. Mm -hmm. Also, right. some okay, it's some right. things that we uh, what we want, that we desire. How do you say that? Remember, I wish, I wish, I could, I could. Okay. A plane, a plane. I wish I had money. I wish I could fly. I wish I had a dream. Uh huh. What else? Describe my city. Describe my home. Oh yeah, describing my 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 home, describing my place, my building, my apartment. Good, yeah. good, very um, good. The, the use of scenes. Oh yes, the present perfect with scenes and for. Remember, scenes is with a period of time, and for well, since it's from the starting point, and for for a period of time. Okay. Okay, good. Two. And enough, yes, and enough. enough, good, enough. remember enough? This is big enough for me. Big Acuérdense enough. que no podemos decir, this is enough big. Uh -uh. Primero va el adjetivo, después enough. va enough. This is big enough, or this is, for, yeah. Mm -hmm. But in the other case, uh, with the, it is a noun, the noun is first, and then? Right, right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. oh, also, we were studying countable uh, uh, and uh, uh, uncountable uh, nouns. Yeah, countable right. and uncountable nouns. No, 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 no. All right. Sorry. And then we were using uh, too much quantifier, too much and too many. Remember? Yeah. Yes. Countables. Okay, Sandra, what, what were you saying, Sandra? Mm -hmm. Oh, sorry. Uh, I, I said something wrong. Uh, no. no, that's fine. That's fine. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. but, okay. No, but, but, uh -huh, but when we say big enough, it's because uh, we have an adjective, adjective, adjective but, right? But then, but when we say with a noun, is first enough and then the noun, right? Right. For example, you can say my house has enough rooms. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. enough rooms. I cannot say my house has room enough. Uh -uh. Uh -uh. Uh -huh. Okay. All right. So I just want to say thank you. Uh, I just want to say thank you all. It was a great pleasure to meet you all. Thank you for your hard work. Thank you for showing. I know you were very tired. 
and you did your best after your work, after your long shift, and you did your best to come to my classes. So I really appreciate. And remember, classes are going to start on the 21st. Uh, I'm okay. pretty sure February the 21st. Okay. So yo espero verlos ahí, verdad? Hagan el ánimo, como yes. dice, hagan el ánimo de yes. continuar en el intermedio number two. Um, I don't know if oh, I'm going to be your sure. teacher. I don't know. Sure. If it is sure. that, okay, I'm going to be more than happy to be your teacher again next uh, next module. If not, definitely you're going to have a... So a, do a, I. So do I. Another teacher over there, right? So thank you so much. Uh, we're going to be in touch in the, in the chat. Anything, I'm going to be here for you. Thank you so much. Have a great night. And I will see you around. Okay, take okay. care, teacher. Okay. Bye. Thank you very much. Bye. 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 Take care. Bye. 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 Bye.